so windy and it's on to rain. Let's get back into the video. I went out for a ride this morning. I was going to film the video whilst I was out riding. I kind of did. But then got back and I couldn't hear any of the footage. Um, any of the audio, sorry, because the weather wasn't brilliant. Now it's heaps better. So, um, yeah. So first things first, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the componentry and, um, yeah, just the bike in general. So this is the 2019 Trekamonda AL4. So the aluminium uh, frame rim brake Amonda. So this was technically my second road bike, but my first road bike was smashed when um, someone rear renders us in the car. So this was my replacement bike. Um, so yeah, technically, I guess you'd say my first road bike. And yeah, it's really awesome. Great bike. And um, yeah, a few reasons why I'm gonna be selling it, I'll get to later in the video. But yeah, basically the Tech Pro rim brakes, obviously front and rear, the same. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll talk later why they're not the best, but um, they get the job done. It's a bit scratched up because the bike's had a few a few tumbles, but um, yeah, so that's it. I did shorten the stem myself, that was for my older bike, um, because the track stem was just too big. This is a size medium, I think 54, I believe, 52 maybe, but um, yeah, nice cockpit. It's like, when you look at it from here, you don't really see any wires or cables around, but then obviously they are there, but uh, it's quite nice and tidy how they did that for a bike that I think retails 1400, 1300. Um, yeah, Sh Shimano Tiagra uh, group set, which is I've had absolutely no problems with really. Uh, one thing is I'll talk about later more is run feeling like I'm running out of gears in like crit races and stuff like that, but uh, very minor. Otherwise, great componentry. Obviously Shimano, you can't really go wrong. And um, yeah, so overall it's a pretty neat bike. See, these are the, I think they're Bontrager. Yeah, Bontrager Elite um, bottle cages. They match the bike quite well. Uh, but yeah, they're added on afterwards. Yeah, I do really love the paint job on the bike as well. It's really good. But yeah, overall, there's the, the stock saddle. Not the best, but not the worst. Um, yeah, it's basically the bike in general. So yeah, it's pretty neat, very good. It's a number one, but I don't really regard this as one of the main reasons because um, I'd be moving on the bike regardless but size is a little bit too small for me now um, but yeah kind of disregard that point because these uh, following points and reasons are still going to be the reasons why I would have sold the bike anyway at this point but um, yeah size it's quite small for me 52 54 centimeter frame um, and yeah, I've had it for almost four years now. One thing that I am wanting to try is a different gear ratio. So in this Tiagra, I've got, um, I think, nine speed rear cassette. And while it's, you know, it's pretty, like, it's good. Sometimes I find myself kind of running out of gears in, in a crit race as a sprint. And um, sometimes on descents. So getting a better gear ratio is probably something, obviously, I could do that, you know probably do that myself on this bike but moving forward something that I definitely want to try out with a few different ratios maybe and um yeah just try and find what's best for me you know use for the hills but also for the um crit racing and stuff like that but um yeah that's just another point kind of hang on to does need another clean I only cleaned it like last week but a bit dirty um but yeah, so that's a that's another point. And then following on from that would probably be, be the disc brakes, to be honest. Uh, rim brakes, rather. I definitely want to make that move to disc brakes because they just feel a lot more, um, more safer, a bit more reactive, and just overall kind of just better, in my opinion. Because I have ridden, um, running the track checkpoint gravel, obviously with discs. 
so much better. Mountain biking on disc, obviously that's completely different. You don't really see any mountain bikes with rim brakes, but um, yeah, it's just, you know, going down descents and this in the pouring wet is just not fun and doesn't feel very safe. So yeah, that's definitely one, um, another improvement that I would make moving forward from why I'm also getting rid of this bike because I just really don't, you can say what you want about rim brakes, you know, I don't really have anything against them, but I just want to personally make the switch to disc brakes um, to feel they're a bit more of a confident ride and a bit safer. Uh, reason number three or four, I think now, um, is the bike's weight. So as great as it is for kind of like a starting up bike, a, you know, intermediate bike, um, does weigh 9.4, I believe. Um, so... Yeah, it's a bit on the heavier side. Obviously, you don't expect it to be, you know, close to seven or eight, really, at this price point. But, uh, yeah, moving forward, a lot of bikes, obviously, going to be quicker up the hills and um, in races and something more, a bit more aero as well. So that's another downside to this bike. But this is just my my reasons. So obviously, I'm not saying don't get the bike because depending on what kind of riding you're doing and stuff, it's probably perfect for you. It's perfect for me for ages. Still is really quite good, but yeah, just kind of outgrown it. And these other factors as to why I'm going to be selling my Trek Amanda. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and all that. Um, much appreciated. And yeah, if you enjoy the video, do that. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. Shout out to Steve from Kilometer Zero for the Oakley Sutro Sunnies. They're very good, and um, yeah. Shout out to him, I'll put the thing in one of the corners here, so check him out.